Tuesday, 5th November 2019. Mathematics Paper 1, Foundation Tier, Non Calculator. Answer all questions. You must show all your working. The total mark for this paper is 80. Question number one Write down the value of seven in the number 1074. So I have put here a decimal value chart to help you understand it. The one goes in the thousand column. The zero goes in the hundreds. The seven goes in the tens. The four goes in the ones. So the seven represents seven tens, which is seven times 10, which is 70. Question number two. Write 4.58 correct to one decimal place. You put a line after the first decimal place. I've got here the pink line. I've changed it to red. You look at the number after that line on the right is eight. Because it's five or more, you change it to a one and add it to that five. So five plus one becomes six. So the answer is 4.6. Work out 31.7 times 100. When you multiply by 100, you move the decimal place two places to the right. So you start one, two, and you put a zero under the arch. So it becomes 3,170. Question number four. Write the fraction 28 over 70 in its simplest form. We can divide its even number at the top even number at the bottom. So half of 28 is 14, half of 70 is 35. And you can divide 30, 14 divided by seven is two and 35 divided by seven is five. It's two over five. Oh, if you know the 14 times table, 28 divided by 14 is two and 70 divided by 14 is five. So you go in one step to the answer, but here you go in two step one, two. Question number five, write 15% as a decimal. 15, the percent means out of 100. The percent means out of 100. So you write 15 that divided by 100. When you divide by 100, you move the decimal place two places to the left. So you start from the front of the five and move it one, two so it ends in front of the one so it's 0 0.15 the pictogram shows information about the number of pictures sold in an art shop in each of january february and march write down the number of pictures sold in january so what you do is if you look at January, February, and March, so the square, one square box represents eight pictures. So put eight in each box. So in January, eight plus eight plus eight gives you 24. So there are 24 pictures in January. 12 pictures were sold in April. Show this information on the pictogram. In April, there were 12 pictures. So you have eight for one square box and half of eight, half of the box. Eight plus four is 12. Part C, what was the total number of pictures sold in these four months? The total number of pictures, you add all of them for, you add for January, February, March, April. So you add 24 plus 28 plus 20 plus 12. And that gives you 84. Question number seven. Work out the difference in minutes between one hour, 25 minutes, and one and one quarter hours. Let's change one and one quarter hours to minutes. That's 60 minutes plus 15 minutes. That's 75 minutes. One hour, 25 minutes is 60 minutes for one hour plus 25 minutes. That gives you 85 minutes. And the difference is 85 minus 75 
is 10 minutes. Remember, one quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. It's the same as one over four times 60, which is 15. Because it's 60 divided by four. Question number eight. Pasha has five blocks of wood. The total weight of all five blocks of wood is three kilograms. Four of the blocks of wood each have a weight of 650 grams. Work out the weight in grams of the other block of wood. So you find, in, find the total weight of four blocks. 650 times four gives you 2,600. The one kilogram is 1,000 grams. So three times 1,000, it gives you 3,000. So we want 3,000, three times 1,000 minus 2,600, which gives you 400 grams. Question number nine, PQR is a straight line. PQR, work out the size of angle X. The three angles will add up to 180 because it's a straight line. It will add up to 180 degrees. So X would be given by 180 minus 100 minus 35. So that would give you 45 degrees. So it will be 180 minus 100 plus 35, and that gives you 45 degrees. Question number 10. Plot the point with coordinates 3, 2, and label it A. You go 3 to the right and 2 up. So that's the coordinate 3, 2. 3 to the right. And 2 up. That gives you the coordinate 3, 2. Write down the coordinates of the midpoint of BC. The midpoint of BC, I've marked it there in the yellow, and the coordinates are minus one and zero. Question number 11. Mason throws a coin three times. The outcome of each throw is either heads or tails. List all the possible outcomes of the three th throws. So you can get three heads, head, 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 or you can get two heads and a tail, or you can get a head first and then a tail and then a head, or you can get a head first and two tails, or you can get a tail first and two heads, or you can get tail, head, tail, or tail, tail, head, or tail, tail, tail. So those are all the possible outcomes. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible outcomes. Question number 12. Rehan is on holiday in the hot USA. He has $200 to spend on clothes. Rehan buys one pair of trainers costing $60, three t-shirts costing $25 each. He also wants to buy a jacket costing $80. Has Rihan got enough money to buy the jacket? You must show how you get your answer. So let's find out the cost of three t-shirts is 25 times three, because 25 each and three of them, 25 times three, it gives you 75. Total cost, including the cost of the jacket. So the total cost is the $60 plus the 75, plus the 80. So the total cost is 215. That's the 60 plus 75 plus 80. It's 215. So you change after you buy all four items. So 200 minus 60 minus three times 25, that gives you 65. So the answer is no because he needs 215 pounds. And, or you can say it on, only has 65 left, which is not enough. Or you need 15 pounds more. 
the trainers cost $60. The exchange rate is $1 is equals to 0.749. Rehan says the trainers cost less than 40 pounds. Rehan is wrong. Using a suitable approximation, show working to explain why. So 0 0.749, you can approximate it to 0 0.7. And if you multiply 0 0.7 times 60, that gives you 42, which is an underestimate. 42 is bigger than 40. And, or you can use 0 0.74. So that shows you the complete answer for question 12. So, it's important to show all of these steps when you do the questions because you need to show your working. Question number 13, simplify 2A times 5B. I've highlighted the two times the five, it gives you 10, and then A times B. So answer is 10AB. And we put the A first and the B next. Simplify 3x plus 2y plus 5x minus y. I've highlighted, we collect the like terms. So I've highlighted the like terms. 3x plus 5x is 8x. And 2y minus 1y, they don't put the one, but there's a one, the one y is equals to y. So your answer is 8x plus y. Question number 14. Work out 23 times 15. You can do it in a table form like that. 20 plus three is 23 and 10 plus five is 15. So you can do 10 times 20 is 200. 10 times three is 30. Five times 20 is 100. Five times three is 15. After you add those four numbers, you add 200 plus 30 plus 100 plus 15. That gives you 345. Or you can do it this way. Three times five is 15, five and carry one. Two times five is 10 plus the one you carry is 11. Three times one is three. 2 times 1 is 2. And then you add them. 5 add nothing is 5. 1 add 3 is 4. 1 add 2, th two is 3. So you get 345. 